but it started as well. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are told these, what's the name of these slums here? Kibera Slum. It's called what? Kibera Slum. Kibera Slums. This is the second largest slums in Kenya. Africa. In Africa. Alrighty, so let's slow down, brother. Just start a little bit more? Just a little bit more, yeah. I know you're trying to roll through. Don't, no, 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 don't worry about that. Oh, okay, I didn't know whether or not, you know, you, you uh, felt a certain type of vibe or you want to speed through or what? Are we unsafe here right now? Oh, yes. Yes, we're, we're safe. Very much, yeah, we're very much safe here. Oh, we're safe, okay. I said unsafe and you said yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're zipping through the slums. Uh, of course, I didn't call it that. This is what everybody in Kenya calls, the slums. Some people get upset when I say slums or why you want to call it that or why you want to say it. I'm like, this is what the locals call it, right? The good people living here, you know. Yes, the good people. Good people. Just may not have the financial means, but yet this is their city. This is their homes. This is their markets. This is their way of life. You can see how they are. Decent people. Yeah. Most definitely. slums in America. Yeah, we have a lot of slums in America. Really? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we do. People don't want to admit it, but they we do, and they don't like to show it. But there there, there are. You know, you got those who argue and say, "But our our poor is better than their poor." <laughs> you know. So, uh -huh. it's a uh, it's just one of those things. Oh yeah, yeah, and they do well as well because of so many people they do good business. What was he saying? Oh, I usually come bring the truck for clean uh -oh. for car wash. Just like to promote. Now, a lot of people here. Some of these folks, everybody has jobs and work and all yes, that here. Do. Yeah. Yes, they do. Most of the guys that live here, they work at the industries, yeah. the industrial area of Nairobi. Uh -huh. Yes, they do their walking every day. They go there for work. And most of the guys you find here are professionals. Okay, yeah. And so we understand that uh, they are tearing down some of the slums. Mm -hmm. They are putting up permanent structures like this, you see up there. They're putting up family structures? Yeah, permanent like structures. Permanent. Permanent structures. Yeah. Okay, permanent structures. Okay. And so, this is in the Nairobi. This is in Nairobi. Is there a certain section of town this would be called? No, it's just Kibera as well. Just Kibera. Yeah. Okay, okay. It's actually, it changed from Kibera, now it's Kibra. 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 Uh, used to be called Kibera. Hey, this man right here, he's got white women in his back pocket. <laughs> uh, oh, they're mannequins, I'm sorry. <laughs> but say, hey, finally we're still in the white folks. Yeah. Now, is there any history associated with the slums here? 
Yes, it started uh, with a local tribe, Mula's tribe I think it's called, the Nubi people. They are the ones who started Kibera. The Nubi people. Yes. The Nubi, Nubi community. The Nubians. I think you try Google that and see that where the Nubis came from. Uh huh. I think they came from uh, Ethiopia, I'm not really sure. Then they came settling in Kibera. So it started with the Nubian people. They started with the Nubian people. But you have all kind of people live here oh, in the yes, slums. Yes. All kind of foreigners. Mm -hmm. Say, babe. Stop taking pictures. Yeah. Kibera doesn't belong to him. It belongs to so many people. <laughs> We're almost like out of Kibera. We, we, you know, Kibera is a it's a valley of about eight kilometers stretch and about two kilometers wide. So we just cut through the Kibera slum. So we just cut through. Yeah. Okay. Well, we gotta. No, so on the right side still, still Kibera. I'm sorry, so bouncing family, but uh, there again, I gotta get my Kimball. Once I get my Kimball, the bounciness will be over with. But this is the slums of Kibera. I'm sure there's some uh, pretty good deals you can get down here. And prices. Oh yeah. You can get some pretty good deals. Oh yeah. Do other people who live outside of the uh, slums come down here to? Oh yeah, they do. Yeah. Right. We've got a second-hand uh, cloth market. Shoes people come there. It's called a toy market. It's a second hand cloth market. Cloth market. Yeah. You can see all these, all these are cheap stuff and they're not bad stuff. These are all second hand. Yes. Most are not new. Look at Bob Marley. Nice. Matatu. What you hear called the Matatus. Yeah, the Matatus, yeah. Matatus are public transport passes. Yeah, big ones and little ones, right? Sorry? Oh yes, yeah, all, all our matatus. So all the clothes I see out here, the bags and everything, these are all second hand. Second hand, yes. Yeah. of these roads are where the people live. Interior, in there. Yeah, the interior. Yeah, just inside there, that's where people live. Right. Yeah. Because the salon basically is on this side, on the right side. On the right side, yes. where people live. Mm -hmm. A lot of traffic through here. A lot of business. City within itself. Yes, it is. Good thing about these people, they don't lack water. They water people, throughout. Say it again. The good thing about this slum, the people living in here, they don't lack water. 
They don't lack water. Yes. Ah, uh, okay. And, and what's the reason why they don't lack water? Because if they don't lack water, they can they can get disease. Any disease can just emerge from anywhere. Yeah. Yes. So, and as well, medical is free for them. Medical is free. Yes. So they have like clinics and hospitals have, inside. Yes. The government has uh, put up so many clinics inside here. Okay. The government tries so much to support these people. And so, do they receive any type of assistance as far as money? Do they get any, any government assistance? Uh, like, do they get any? Not really, apart from uh, the basic needs. The government tries so much to provide, I mean, uh, affordable housing. Like the, the, the one, they're demolishing the, I mean, they're demolishing the shanties, putting up permanent structures for them and affordable structures. And what about food? Uh, All food they can buy from themselves. They buy for themselves. Yeah. And as well, they do work. But what if they can't make any money? Oh, they, they, do. they do. They do. Because most of these guys work at the industries. They work at the industries, but yeah, they're not making sure. enough. They're not making enough to get out of the slums. It is. I've got a friend here who always tell me that if you live in the slums, you never leave the slum because life is cheap here. Ah. So they want to do that. They want to live here. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Because everything is like they get it for cheap and free. Almost like about free. Even if you work, you still you work, get, yeah. even if you work, you still get. Nobody wants to leave the slum. Okay, we are out of the slum now. Okay, can we go a different section or a different area? To you turn around. Oh, do you want to do that? Okay. Let me see. Is there a different road we can go down? I found that quite interesting. You know, uh -huh. this this is very well known slums, and. It's totally different than what I expected. Uh -huh. What about you, babe? Yes, definitely. Um, everybody is just living a regular life. You know, yeah. Working, shopping, caring about their own day-to-day -day activities. Just on a lower economic scale. I guess I was expecting more of what you would find. Um, what's the name of the number one slum in Kenya? That the one that's uh, what's the largest slums? This is the largest slum. This is the largest slum. But I heard this is like the number two. No, no, number one. Num this is number number one. Oh, okay. Yes, this okay. is number one. Although we've got different slums as well. We've got so many slums in Nairobi, like about three of them. We've got. The Mathare Valley Slum. Then we have another one that is called Mukuru Kwanjenga Slum. Okay. Yeah. Well, folks, that was a cruise through the slums just to see how the, uh, that was like the business side. I wanted to go down some streets where the where the people live, some of the houses. They got some side streets and stuff there. Right? Uh, but there, I don't think we can be able to drive. More walking, yes, getting more out. Walking, yes. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, family, that right there was the slums, and uh, we'll be pushing more videos of different sides of the town.